What should firms consider when choosing between a big or small platform? That's a good question. I mean, I tell my clients, look, if you bigger vendors out there, there are smaller vendors and, and ones that have, you know, been acquired by a larger firm. And it's like, well, think about it. If you're going to go with a larger firm, you are, you're going to have an established system, you're probably going to have less bugs. Uh, they're probably going to have their processes down, but it's probably more expensive, I'm guessing. And so, but are you going to be able to call up and get the CEO? Probably not. Are you going to be able to have um, influence over how the product is built? Probably not. I mean, they'll build it for you. You got to pay for it. Um, whereas, all right, a smaller firm, you're going to be able to call the CFO. You're going to be able to say, hey, I think this would be awesome to add to the system. And maybe they do it for free because they're building it out for other clients. Yeah. However, you're going to have to deal with bugs. You're going to have to deal with the fact that maybe the system isn't built out yet. And so you have to then evaluate what's your tolerance for that. And so that's part of my job is to make sure that they're thinking about that. It's also just, I don't know, the personality of the firm too. It's it's like, you know, an old, a, a more mature firm, you know, how much are they going to improve the product? I don't know. Are they still looking to do that? Or is it kind of set how it is and they're focused on other things? I don't know. But you've got, it's pros and cons with everything. And so it's just thinking through what, what's my tolerance for that? And what's the personality of the firm? Um, uh, I don't know. Is it a younger group? Is it an older group? It just kind of depends on what you prefer. Yeah. 